So, EA re-released the 87 Plus Base or FIFA World Cup Hero Player Pick. Let's open up a bunch of these and hopefully get some big boy heroes. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out MMO EXP. There is a link down below and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Okie dokie. Realistically, I'm like, Yaya Torre, Ginola, World Cup Forlan, World Cup Vola, uh, World Cup Lucio. If I'm, I might be forgetting somebody, but like, they're kind of the only ones that I'm really that interested in. I, I don't think there's that many amazing heroes out there. Captain Veer, we're getting to my team actually as well. Uh, let's open this up and see what we get. Let me cook. Cordoba would have been good actually. I forgot about Cordoba. Um, Tim Cahill is very average. I'll take Tim Cahill. He's not amazing, but he's at least better than Marquez. Uh, I will store him in the club. Not amazing, but. It is what it is. Let's uh, let's go open some more and see what we get. On to the second account. We have a Future Stars quarter, Future Stars quarter store pack first, and then we're gonna open the player pick. We have a Future Star Dutch centre back. It is gonna be Van der Ven. I think he's part of the the mini release, isn't he? Because he definitely wasn't in the team, right? Uh, new players. Yeah. So Van der Ven is a new one. Cherky and I don't know who the other one is. Was was San I thought Oihan Sanse was already out, but Cherky's sick. Cherky's five star five star. Oh, that looks really good. But Van der Ven, uh, future stars. I'm happy about that. By the way, make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys do enjoy it. I don't ask enough if you guys like enjoy the videos. Make sure to please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And also just like drop a comment. Let me know what you guys have packed during future stars. Um, let's get on to the next player pick. So I've got it on my second account now. The 87 plus base or FIFA World Cup hero player pick. Can we top? Uh, World Cup, uh, Cahill. Or, I guess Cordoba, because Cordoba was the best player there. Here we go. Come on. Wow, that's actually a really good player pick as well. Broline, Donovan, Cahill. I mean, Broline is the obvious pick. It's actually a really good one as well. Um, we'll store that in the club. Obviously, I don't play on this account, so it doesn't really matter too much. But, yeah, that's quite unfortunate we got that on this account and not the other one. But we'll take it. Let's go and do the next one. All right, we have my boy Cridian's player pick next. Here we go, EA. Come on, sort us out. What are we saying? Uh, I, I thought that was... I don't know why, I just thought I was going through. Dirk Kout's good in game. Dirk Kout is actually a really good CM in game. He's actually really good. Uh, Carvalho's an L. Papan is a bit of an L as well. Um, you think that's a W? I don't. I think Dirk Kout is like, is, is okay. But I don't think that's the best player pick, sadly. All right, next one. Come on, EA. Let's get better than the last. Cap de Villa or Harry Kewell, actually. Wow. Uh, Cap de Villa is about 600k or something crazy like that, isn't he? He is very expensive. I think, obviously, it's because he's one of the best left backs on the game. And he gets 730k now. Bro. 730k for this card now is crazy. Harry Kewell is really good as well, but he wants Cap de Villa. Definitely one of the best left backs in the game. I remember when this card was like 300k when he first came out. Maybe less than that. That's hilarious. Got really good links, though, to be fair. Uh, works really well. So that's a dub. We'll take that. Our first proper W of the day. Let's go. All right. Next one. Can we get like a Yaya Torre, Marquisio? I think I forgot Marquisio when I was talking about good heroes earlier, by the way. Uh, can we get a Marquisio? That'd be nice. I said Marquisio, not Mascherano. I like seeing all World Cup heroes, but that's just bad, isn't that? Very, very bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. Really? Oh, it's nowhere near a red card. Oh, let's go. Cavardio, let's go, dude. What a pack. God, he's got to be worth something, right? 88 pace. I really haven't seen much of the uh, the new cards. Cavardio, though, that's class. He is worth 300k. Oh, that is class. That is absolutely brilliant. Let's go, man. Go on, Dangler as well. I dare you. I dare you. Cruz and Trent and Tadic. Not bad. We'll take that. Really good ultimate pack. You'd love to see it, man. All right. Next one. We have Calipeps. I think he also has rank three rewards as well, which is really cool. Uh, so here we go. Here we go. Definitely not as good as last time. Last time, these were absolutely class. Uh, definitely, definitely nowhere near as good as last time, though. These, these player picks, sadly. All right. Let's move on to the packs. What are we saying, EA? We have rank three reward packs. Uh, I don't know which pack's which, actually. Um, I, I guess we'll just start on the left. I don't know which packs these are, though. What are we saying? Oh, terrible, terrible start. Okay, not great. Come on. We want to see future stars. We want to see a decent future stars. I've actually packed a couple myself. 
Um, obviously, you've seen Gravardial in this video as well. Um, that's a big spoiler. If if if, uh, <laughs> if I no, I'm pretty sure I put Gravardial in before this clip. Yeah. Okay. Now we're fine. We're fine. You've seen it already. I thought for a second there I might have accidentally put him in later, but I've not even. Okay, we're good. Uh, Rodri. Great today so far. Uh, the game's not over, so he actually could have scored a goal or something to like win the game. So maybe, maybe that, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But English HB it is Trent Alexander Arnold. Let's go, big dub. Great game against Wolves at the weekend. Oh, hello. Three walkouts in 150k pack. Not bad at all. I think the next one is an ultimate pack, right? Come on, future stars in this surely. Come on, future stars EA, please. Yes, let's go. Ivorian. It is going to be the right wing back Singo. He actually looks like a class card. The thing is, this card isn't that far stats wise away from Captive V. Obviously, he doesn't have the same links and whatever. But like, this card I'm guaranteed about 30k, if that. Yeah, I knew it. But it's not a bad card at all, to be fair. We'll take that. All right. At least we got a few just stars. Now, will we get. I think it's Mares and Trap we're looking for in these. Mares and Trap. Come on. What are we saying? Hmm. Ginter, 85. Not amazing. I was hoping for uh, I was hoping for Trap there, but it wasn't. Uh, I guess we'll store that in the transfer list. 30k made from the first pack. All right, here we go. Come on, second one. Please, EA. What are we getting in this one? Oh? I tell you what, Hoffman's not bad. Mahrez and Trap were last week. I'm stupid. What is this week's team of the week? I guess we'll take Hoffman. I don't even know what this week's team of the week is. That is how bad I am at this job. How do I, how am I employed? All right, Martinez. I guess we actually got the highest rated one there, to be fair. So we'll take that. Uh, Hoffman's not bad. We'll take that. And Alex Romero in there too. All right, solid. All right, we have my boy Grand Coppites, 87 plus base, the World Cup hero now. I think like a decent attack would be very nice here. World Cup Voller would be class. Ooh, World Cup Sydney Govu is not bad at all, to be fair. I mean, he definitely fits the bill for a good attacker. That is solid. Parji Sung's obviously a, a hero, but like... That's a really good pull. Was he 600k as well? Very nice. We ha we absolutely take that. That is a W. On to the Xbox account. We are looking for the Yaya Torre or the Ginola of absolute dreams. Here we go. What are we saying? Oh, man. Tough. Um, I'll take Broline. Broline's not a bad one, to be fair. I still think the normal hero, Broline, could probably do a job off the bench. It's just the three-star week for the lesson down a little bit, really. That and, like, maybe, like, a, a bit bit better composure would be nice as well. But it's not a terrible card. We'll take that. That's solid. Uh, go ahead and store that in the club. Not what we're looking for. But, yeah, it's, it's okay, I guess. All right. We've got Donny's uh, player pick next. He wanted a stat reveal. So, I've not done one of the player pick for a little while. I think we're doing this right. So, one, two. Um, am I on the right screen now? I think I am. No, one more. Or not? Is it that way? There we go. All right, here we go. Ooh, 85 physical. This could be good. Oh, my word. Who is this? 74 aggression. Ooh, who is this? I'm guessing it's a striker. Ooh, is it Voller? Maybe, maybe normal Voller? Hey, I got it right. Let's go. Not bad. Good start. We'll take that. Go on, we want World Cup Voller, though. I'm pretty happy with that. 90 physical this time. All right, this has got to be like... Wait, those, those def that defending is actually pretty good. 85 dribbling. What? Who on earth is this? Oh, Cahill. That card. It's mental how, like... We, when these cards don't look appealing, we just look at them. But then when you look at them by stats, they're like, oh, you're like, wow, these stats are insane. But then the actual card itself is not that appealed by. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're on to a defender now. Go on, be Lucio. I don't think it is, but we hope. 78 pace. This is like normal Ricardo Cavallo, isn't it? Mascherano. That is a shame. I mean, Voller's not bad, though. Voller is pretty good. We'll take Voller. That is solid. Um... I wish it was a World Cup version, but the normal ones could probably still do a pretty de decent job, in my opinion. 